everyone. This is Margaret Manning with 60 and Me. This is the place where women over 60 come to be inspired. And my guest today is Arian Poole. Arian is a professional and celebrity makeup artist. I've worked with Arian on some videos for older women, and she is fabulous. It's so good to have you here, Arian. It is a thrill to be back with you. Thank I you. I love working with you. <laughs> Thank you. And, I, and, it, and the feeling is mutual because you understand what, you know, women over 60 are looking for when we're trying to make that decision about makeup. Um, it, you know, our skin changes, our skin color, tone, our hair. And uh, so um, we're moving into now the fall season for the Northern Hemisphere ladies, at least. And then this will be for other folks later on in the year. Yeah. But um, but there are some trends um, that happen every season. And yeah. even though we don't, you know, particularly like to follow trends, us, you know, a rebellious uh, over 60s, um, it's nice to know what's out there and uh, what the choices might be. So uh, give us a little, you know, a taster of the three trends that are going on right now in uh, in makeup. There are, well, what you were just saying about we're not us wanting to follow, follow trends is absolutely true because you look at some of the trends and you think, remember when there was that bright yellow eyeshadow, you thought, <laughs> who the heck is going to wear that? Yes. I would look like Coco the Clown in that. Mm -hmm. And there are some trends that you don't want to sort of embrace. Other things, you can look at them and go, hmm, I may not want to wear the full look, but there are certain things here that I really like and would work for me. So each person should look at it like that they could look at individual things so you're not following a trend you're adapting a trend to, to you so you're you're yeah. bringing that trend to to sort of really own it yourself I so like that. some of the trends that i really like that work so well with this age group my age group as well so our age group is berry or red lips Berry and red lips, sensational. Because as we get older, the paler lip colors tend to make us fade into the background and make us look really sort of washed out. Mm -hmm. So bringing in these berries and these reds is like, ha ha, I love this. I can't tell you how many ladies who have said to me when they when I've looked at their lipstick and it's that beigey color. I said, does anyone ever say, you know, are you feeling okay? Are you all right? She said, oh yes, all the time. You change their lip color and suddenly it's like, ta-da. So I've got a few colors on my hand. Okay. Oh, wow. Of, of kind of berries and reds and things like that. This one's a really dark yes. one. So it depends if you, this is all to do with skin tones as well. Yes. So obviously someone with a darker skin tone could wear that and look absolutely right. sensational. Bring your hand up a little bit. Oh, sorry. No, that's okay. Okay, yeah. good. We can see yeah. that now. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then these brighter colors, these reds and these berry kind of colors, yeah. it really is what suits your skin tone right. and your hair color. You know, it's not one size fits all in one color or one shade. As we know, when we did that lipstick video, right. choose the color that works with you. And if you're a little bit afraid and you think, ooh, these are a little bit too bold, what you can do is you can put them on, blot them with a tissue, and then they act like a stain. Yes. So they're a lot softer and a lot longer lasting as well. Well, you know, we talked about um, in our fashion videos about the fact you shouldn't necessarily match your um, your makeup to your clothes. But I've noticed in the shops, there's a lot of that color, that wine red and um, the, the, the sort of berry colors. So it sounds like it's a, a trend in fashion as well. It's, yeah, from, it's both fashion. You've got some tops. Yeah, ready. actually, I, was, I mean, yeah, just, just because I, I love this color for myself. So this this is that kind of, you Gorgeous. know, whiny color. And then there's another purple one here that um, if I could just find it, um, which also would be great with berry, with berry beautiful. lips. So, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. And can I just say, even the gray top that you've got on now with a berry lip as an accent color, mm -hmm. super sensational. I think it would look just gorgeous. That's good so, to know. So those kind of colors are really, really nice. Colored eyeliners. And I can just, I can actually imagine some of your viewers going, oh, what the, the heck is she talking about? Oh. And when you think of colored eyeliner, you think of that bright, bright blue or that fluorescent green. No, I'm not talking about those. The kind indigo of blue. No. What colors are you talking about? I'm talking about, again, we're looking at colors like this, like this purple. Oh, that purple. This purple, which thing. I which I love purple, and I think it's nice on brown eyes and and hazel brown, eyes. Brown eyes and hazel eyes, just stunning, really gorgeous. I'm going to put a couple of colors, and then I'll hold my hand up okay. for you. Right. So there's a lot of colors. I've even got like a navy blue, which is really good. And that, if you're somebody who so has you know the whites of their eyes, they want to make them a little bit more whiter looking, then you can use a navy blue liner. Right. So I've just used a couple here. I haven't gone crazy. Okay. Can you see? Those those? Are, yeah, I see. Those okay. are pretty. We've got purple. We've got a sort of like a metallic -y 
brown color, but it's not a warm brown. It's like mm. a metallic brown, a navy blue, and then a sort of a forest green. There's a lot of sort of dark greens, like ivy green, forest green, khaki green. Those are really beautiful on people's eyes. So you could wear your neutral eyeshadows if you wanted to, and then add a little accent again here we're talking about accents yeah. with the colored liners and it would look wow we so really really good the other thing with your hair like your hair has got a red tone in it i can yeah. imagine that the forest green would look really great with your red hair i love the wearing the forest green as a matter of fact i've got an eyeshadow that's kind of a, a muted forest yeah. green eyeshadow with with a tiny metallic fleck and then i wear a matte green liner with it yeah. and it really Sounds contrasts lovely. and complements each other really nicely so again they're great ways of embracing the, the, these trends but look but not looking trendy there's yes. a difference between we don't want to look trendy because that just looks wrong on our age group but we want to look fresh and modern and you know not frumpy and interesting yeah. well so we've got okay so we've got colored eyeliner and we have got berry colored lipstick and lip glosses and what's another trend you see Berry nails. Okay. <laughs> berry nails. Okay. So lots of berry colors, really dark berries and yes. brown kind of yes. colors. And then these really sort of more vibrant ones as well. So really kind Beautiful. of purple kind of colors. And do you know want to know something? Again, on an older hand, it looks really pretty. It it's there's a nice contrast. And it what I like about them is they they hide any kind of ridges that you might get because I'm starting to get a few ridges. They hide all of that kind of thing yeah. and they look good and they, they wear beautifully. And then I know we only said that we were going to talk about three, but can I just slip one more sure. in? Sure, yeah, of course. Eyebrows. I know we've done videos on eyebrows and things, but eyebrows are again, a major trend. So hmm. if you or somebody who doesn't want to wear a lot of eye makeup, get your brows right, maybe, you know, embrace a liner, a bit of your mascara and you're good to go. I can see that your brows are, maybe you've got them a little darker. Would you say that that's part of the trend is for them to be a little darker? Well, I've gone a little bit darker because my hair has gone a little bit darker because right. it would look a little bit weird. Um, so I've gone a little bit darker on my brows. What I would say is do it so it contrasts and complements your hair. I know that people say go two shades darker. It can be too heavy if you've got mm -hmm. really dark mm -hmm. hair. So if you're going to mm -hmm. go, if you're, if you've, you're going darker in your hair color, then you might want to go one shade darker okay. on your brows, not two shades because that looks too heavy. And if, obviously if you're blonde like you are, then you want to go maybe a shade or two darker because you don't want to have blonde eyebrows because you don't see those. So right. a shade or two darker. Yeah. There's some great products that are eyebrow mascaras that as well that are fantastic. Um, for those of us who, like myself, have a lot of gray eyebrows, gray white mm -hmm. eyebrows. Me too. So, yeah, it's, it's a fact. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and don't pluck, don't, the, don't pluck them out. Not a good idea. But using these brown mascaras, it, they cover, it covers so beautifully. It looks so natural. People won't know anything. It's a good, good thing to do. Okay. So the trend with eyebrows is really just the focus on it that, that, nicely shaped nicely nice shaped. shape that complements your face shape and uh, can I just say I was talking to one lady just recently I did a makeup lesson on her and she was bringing her eyebrows right down like this because her, her like this but mm. if you do that what it does is it makes your eyes look sad so what I suggested is that she takes this and just does a diagonal here right and then make sure that nothing falls here so she's going to stop them a little bit shorter or bring them up this way and by doing that she opens up her face. She thought that I had taken like years off of her. I, had, I did nothing. I just moved her eyebrow. That's it. <laughs> okay. So we've no got magic. <laughs> you're not a magician after all, but you are actually, you are a magician. So we've got brows, colored liner, yeah. berry, berry lips and berry and, nails. Yeah. I need to get some berry nail polish. I feel naked oh, with just. <laughs> oh, berry would look so good on you. <laughs> But how lovely. It's all about color. Yes, and it is nice. This is a really important time because like I say, you know, when you look at these wonderful shades and these textures and, and things, they work really well to our advantage. Yes. It's just choosing wisely and choosing what we feel comfortable in. Yeah, that's wonderful. Great advice. And the fall is actually one of my favorite times of the year. I think you're right that things get a little dark in the winter and this is a time to kind of sparkle and, yeah. you know, be a little bit more vibrant with your color. And uh, I, I know the community is going to love that advice. So thanks yeah. a lot, Arian. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.